Yes, guys. Uh, hey, it is a very good morning or good afternoon. Depends on where you are. Look, my guys, as you see me seated here right now, I'm here just because of one thing. Chelsea, I believe you know that. Yes, 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 yes. Look, I have already delivered two messages for you, two news items, two bulletins for you. I don't know whether you have visited those ones. If not, kindly go back. The first one, exclusive. Second one was bomb, 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 bomb. Now, this is the third episode, the third edition of the day. Look, I am here because Ivan Tony is in the news. <laughs> Ivan Tony is in the news once again. Chelsea, yes. Ivan Tony is in the news. Yesterday, I told you guys I was going to get you the latest update on Victor Osimhen. That, that, that file is still there. That new item is still there. Exclusive on Victor, Victor Osman. What is happening so far in his camp and what his agent has been saying and what other clubs that are interested have been saying and what Napoli has been saying about Victor Osman and what the player himself has been saying. But right now, listen to me carefully. Ivan Tony is back with his scoring boots on. Can you imagine? Can you... The first competitive game he played, he scored. Just like that. J Chelsea fans, tell me. Right now, I am getting confused. So, whether we should go in for Ivan Tony or we should go in for Victor Osimhen. My preference is actually Victor Osimhen. But right now, this guy just came back after. Even, even though he was not injured, he was only banned. He was serving a ban. Listen, Ivan Tony makes a goal scoring return to football after Arsenal. Legendary accent price. This is not only Arsenal, even Chelsea. Yeah, but if, like everything was, you know, I've been mean, pointing towards Arsenal. Arsenal. That is why my focus, and I've been saying it, that Chelsea should rather focus on Victor Osimhen. But I would, I tell you what, he already have Premier League experience, Premier League experience, and so if he has a Premier League experience, he had an advantage over Victor Osimhen in that regard. But if you want to compare both. If you want to compare both, Victor Osimhen is far ahead of him in terms of physics, in terms of goals, number of goals scored in a season, you know. Yeah. But let me read for you first off. Ivan Tony scored for Brentford B in a 2-2 draw against Como in a behind-closed-doors friendly after being allowed back into training four months into his FA ban. Whoa. I'm scratching my head because it's entering my brain. G. Somebody tell me, say G. Chelsea fans say G. Ivan Tony, G. <laughs> Listen, Ivan Tony has reminded January suitors of his ability to score or by scoring in his first Brentford game for 150 days on Tuesday. My goodness. Tony remains banned from playing competitively for Brentford, having been handed an eight-month suspension by the FA for betting breaches in May. But he was allowed to return to training from September 17th and is now regaining his fitness ahead of a full return to competitive action on January 16th. So he will be ready to start full competitive action from January 16th. How many months from now? We're in October, right? October 16th. Uh, November 16 is one month. December 16, two months. January 16, three months from now. So roughly about, about 90 days from now, he will be back in full action. What should Chelsea be doing right now? Should we start our negotiations with his agent? That is already on the way. That is already being done. That particular one, talking about the agent, that one is already being done. <laughs> the, listen, at the end of the day, it is the player that will have to make the final decision. And that is where Chelsea needs to do some extra work. Let me read for you first. Let me read for you first. The 27 year old striker could change clubs in the mid season transfer window, with the beast placing a £60 million accent price on his head and mid interest from Arsenal. And the Gunners will have. We have taken note of Tony's performance for Brentford B against Camo 
in a behind closed doors friendly on Tuesday. Tony was playing in his first match since featuring in Brentford 1 0 defeat by Liverpool on May 6. But he looked sharp. After testing the Italian size goalkeeper on a few occasions, he found the back of the net by latching onto Frank Onyeka's pass, flicking the ball over the stranded keeper and keeping his cool to finish past a retreating defender. I am just telling how it went. He was withdrawn after 61 minutes of the 2 2 draw, but his link up play with Nel Mope proved his extended break has not diminished the ability which saw him score 21 goals in 36 appearances for Brentford last season. 21 goals in 36 appearances. Mm. Tony has been given a best spoke 16 week fitness regime by the Bees, okay, who are confident to be back to his best in January. Whether it is Thomas Frank or another manager who will reap the rewards of that hard work remains to be seen. However, however, Mikel Ateta has made Tony his number one transfer target for January and is determined to get Arsenal to the front of the queue ahead of Chelsea and Tottenham. You see, he is determined to get Arsenal ahead of the queue. Mm? In, at the head of Chelsea and Tottenham. He is determined. Nikola Teta. That is why I said the player will have a choice to make. He will decide whether to go to Ateta or to go to Mauricio Pochettino. We need to play our card well. What are the cards that we have on the table? We have Mauricio Pochettino on the table. And then we have the... Yeah, we can, we can offer him better, better wages. That's for sure. More than Arsenal. So this is what we have. This is our power, right? But when it comes to the footballing right now, in this season, Arsenal are ahead. They are in the Champions League. Would that be a tempting advantage that Arsenal have over Chelsea? And Arsenal is also second on the league table. So Chelsea need to watch out. I'm just giving you our own disadvantage and our advantage. The only advantage we have right now is better wages that we can offer him. But if the player is looking at the league table right now and playing a Champions League this season, this season, then, but if he's a player that looks into the future, if he's a player that looks into the future, then, and I hope you have taken note of his year, his 27 years. Victor Osman is around, is it 23 or so 24? Yeah. So 27, investing how much? 60 million or to 70 million pounds on the 27 year old. And going to invest over 100 million pounds on 23 year old. We need to think about that. Chelsea, have your say. Have your say in that comment section. Is Ivan Tony the right player for Chelsea? Let me know in that comment section. Tony has scored 68 goals in 124 games for Brentford since his transfer from Petersburg in September 2020. And the club stuck by him after he was charged with the 232 betting breaches in November. Frank recently spoke about the impact his return to training will have on the team. He knows that we want the best for him and that we are there for him, he said. I am massively proud of Ivan. The resilience he's shown throughout his life. He should be an example for a lot of footballers. Yeah, this is what the coach has been saying about him. Do Chelsea have a chance in winning Ivan Tony? Or do you think we should shift our focus and, or and focus and focus and focus on who? Victor Osman only. I want to hear from you in that comment section. I, I told you this episode is purely on Ivan Tony. He is back with his goal scoring boots on. Now, before I leave you, let me remind you that Moidrick is back for training in anticipation for Saturday's game. Moidrick is back for training. Later, in the next hours to come, I'll be bringing you exclusives about Moidrick, Casaido, and the rest of the squad, Chelsea squad. That is my next episode that will be coming to you in the next two to three hours. Watch out for that, my friend. Don't ever lose this channel. 
on your notification button, like the video, share the video, and I want to hear from you in that comment section regarding Ivan Tony. What do you think? He is back and he's already scoring goals. I see you when you see me through your comment. I know I will surely see you. Shalom and peace.